Hello, and welcome to the Underhive. Thank you for rejoining me here for some more Hand of Fate 2. So we're going to be continuing with the Emperor. I'm going to keep Malaclips going. Get rid of all of those. Stolen ones will take. Hmm. We'll go for uh, Market Thief. I don't really know how Empire Contract works. We'll take that. I don't like a fiend in need. Ah, so they do take a weapon if you borrow, borrow, but I just, I didn't have one previously. I'll take Fallen Treasure. We have to pay for the Palace Armory though. Gain any, lose any. Take a blessing. I don't know whether we'll have the gold to go to that trading situation. Take deep water. Take dark alleys. We want anything that will give us a weapon, really. And we'll take Lone Shark. And Novish Exchange. I mean, Borrow Borrow might work out okay. We'll take Borrow Borrow. Let's remove all of these. So we'll take the Billy Clubs. We'll take the Twin Blades. Take Cry Victory. I'll take the shield just to remove the new from it. I'll take the armor of gluttony for the same reason. Pious robes is good. Gambler's jewel's good. Light tree's okay. And that is enough. And we will start with. None of those really do too much. We'll start with extra food. Let's begin. find yourself working for the Empire directly, at least once removed, how do you think this will end? Poorly, I assume. The shrill voice of the town crier rings out across the market square. The Emperor himself seeks Adventurers Guild members. Urgent expedition, vital to the safety of the Empire. You spot a crowd of travellers weighed down with weapons and tools lingering nearby. The Empire is offering a reward just to set off on the expedition. Even more if we make it back. Oh. It's a different person, but never mind. That's how desperate they are for help. So we gain 20 gold. On arriving at the gates of the Royal Palace, an armed escort leads you directly to the Emperor's chambers. The Emperor remains still and silent as his chief counsel lays out the expedition. Few relics from the last age still endure in this world. We had one in this very room until last night. She gestures. She gestures to an empty pedestal. Not only must you reclaim the stolen symbol of our power, we ask that you gather these three sibling relics. Or its three sibling relics. Explain that you're ready to go. Hold, adventurer. It took skilled and dangerous thieves to steal the artifact. We need to ensure you'll be safe out there. See our training officer on the way out. You're greeted by Captain Estrella Fior. Thieves are cowards at heart. They will dodge your heaviest attacks just as they dodge their civic duty. A swift blade is best to defeat them. Here, try these out. Give us the cutthroat blades. I would never bring a knife to a sword fight. Ooh, Two knives, point. however. Okay, 
One of your companions reminds you of the Emperor's mission. One of the relics was stolen by brazen thieves. Another is in the clutches of shady merchant. And one is enshrined in a small village in the east. As for the last, Malaclip shrugs. Who knows? So we're gonna head upwards. Treacherous wilds. While traversing the dangerous cliff face, you slip and lose your footing. Though relatively unharmed, the same cannot be said for a pack of traveler's rations that broke your fall. Oh, buy food. Oh, that's rough. Uh, we will take more steadfast daggers. Damage is reduced by 30% in the next combat with light weapons equipped. No. We'll take uh, Gambler's Banquet. Dice be giving us food. And by contract. Visit your contact in the Imperial Armory. You must be planning for trouble if you've come to me for help, he says with a knowing grin. Tell me, who are you hunting? I'll see what I can find in the vault of contraband items. Thieves. You tell him you're hunting thieves. Not an uncommon practice these days, he comments, heading to, into the vault. He'll give me the billy clubs for 20 gold, which I don't have. Never mind. We are hungry now. The Gasping open wilds. With each step, hoping to survive. Find food if you can. Well, yes, of course. The wilds are welcoming. Their bounty plentiful. In the bed of a river, you find some discarded coins. Dangerous wilds. Terror and steel. Wilds are home to many a rebel, criminal, and beast. And corrupted by the looks. I'm not going to spend my gold on food just yet. I think we can afford to take a little bit more on the hunger pain front. So, I've got me quick blades out. You should run while you have the chance. <laughs> Him now. Double hefty snap. Solid. We haven't got any of the equipment that does anything yet anyway, so or requires us to do anything, so we'll deal with that later down the line. The battle resolved, you scavenge what you can from the remains. Equipment, okay. We'll take the belly gloves. One wonders how an inanimate object determines its sense of right and wrong. Ah, Let us hope they never turn to upon me. you or me. The thieves' erratic movement crosses right into your path. You catch them frantically loading the relic onto horse and cart. Just hold them off for a couple of minutes while we're ready the horses. Won't have long enough, my thiefy friend. Now this weapon requires us to do finishes against thieves, so we'll get that if we get that. By sea and sun, fate and fain. Oh, hey there. Bit of a shame, but fine. I can't press parry, but... Thank you. Went for the bash. Uh, went for it again. Oh, right, the thieves can escape. I've been uh, taking my time with this. I should be... Should just be beating them down as quick as I can. That was silly. That was silly also. I'm getting tired here. Ah, damn it. They managed to get away. That's a shame. Took a right paste in there. That was a bad fight. Distant sound of horses alert you to a carriage disappearing over the horizon. You'll never catch them now. Oh, will I not? The open wilds. On a riverbed, find some discarded coins. 
So we could immediately fight them again. I think I'm going to let myself heal a little bit. Treacherous Wild, just plucked some juicy wild berries from a thorn-covered thicket. Realised too late that they are poisonous. Only 5 HP lost, never mind. So we'll go back to the Stolen Relic. And uh, we're not going to worry about trying to get finishes and this, that and the other. We're just going to kill them quickly this time. I didn't see the time at the first time, I was just forcing around. I hope this works! It will. Oh, that's an extra finisher we needed. Oh, and again, beautiful. And another, beautiful. Save Malaclips while we're here. A much better fight. Flawless victory much quicker, got some finishes. Don't know why I didn't do that the first time. So we'll see where we are with this bit of equipment once we've sorted this out. After clearing out the thieves camp you quickly locate the relic. Torrin's plate. We'll get a curse. Ten gold each time you revive your companion in combat. Wow. The relic is cursed, Malaclips exclaims. Who would want to steal such a thing in the first place? Well, those guys, evidently. Dangerous wilds. It is not too late to plan better. It's home to many a rebel criminal and beast. We've got some skulls and some trappers. That's fine though. Can manage with that. So we're not going to revive Malaclips anymore, we're just going to... By sea and sun, just going to accept what happens, happens. Shouldn't have too much trouble this time, though. That was unfortunate. Ah, getting beat up. And it doesn't appear you can stun the skeletons. Sort of makes sense in a way. Yeah, not, not doing well on the health front here. Could do with some dice gambits, to be fair. More fame. Very good. More equipment. Ah, okay, so we now know this does. Artifacts you and your like companion deal 200% damage and to enemies turn the tides. Less for 8 seconds. Item restores charges after combat. Okay. Okay. So we don't really want to be going on to the treacherous wilds. Okay, well there's one right next to it anyway. Same can it be said for the food that broke our fall. We only lost one, but we only had one. So we are going to need to camp now. We're going to need to trade, and we're going to need to buy food. We'll not buy the other one. And we'll break camp. Be careful. Loan shots come due in time. We will borrow money from Badger. So we're going to borrow 50. Again. So we know... We know if we don't give it him back, he's going to attack us, but... It's neither here nor there, really. I thought this time he'd remember we robbed him last time. And more discarded coins. So maybe we'll pay him back this time, see what happens. Treacherous Wilds. Uh, well, we... Oh, I'll lose one equipment. No, my billy clubs. And, here and now we haven't got your reward, oh. at least in potential. This was a farce, an altogether farce. <laughs> to 
sick of seeing these bloody gnomes. gutted about that. Yeah, yeah, we understand. We understand. Give him something. Oh, I can give him the cutthroat blades, though. Okay, that's not as bad. So at least we can try this, then. We'll try that. Are you sure you wish to give those? Yes. You surrender equipment to the gnome. Satisfy the offer payment in return. Ten gold. Five gold. Toothless Gnome and his brother turned the daggers over in their hands and not approvingly before disappearing into the bushes, dragging the blades behind them. As the gnomes retreat into, into the forest, they offer a dire warning. Goblins are on the march, human. They must hunt, they hunt us. Whether for food or sport, we, not, we know not. Beware, beware the gibbering horde. Well Thank you, done. I'm vindicated. I'm glad I was right about that. Because it, it, the obvious thing would be a ring, but... So we are gonna we are gonna have to try and buy some more food if we can. Well, we'll just buy the one then. Can't afford to take the hit is the issue. Oh no, I did not mean to do that. So basically, that's that's even now or worse actually. As you trundle along your horse-drawn carriage, you catch a glimpse of some cheeky gnomes fleeing with your weapon. Chase them on foot until they dive into a burrow. Well, that's fine because they didn't really nick much from me. I think this is the job. Oh no. Um. I mean, if we die here, we die here. Pay back. Okay, let's pay him. Pay back the debt. Say, Badger adds as you turn to leave. You look like you can handle yourself in a fight. If you're ever looking for a job, I always have need of people who can persuade others to do what's right. As Badger and his goons leave, you notice know, a weapon glinting in the light. You wait until the area is clear before stooping to pick it up. One of Badger's goons must have dropped it. Though his band are well-armed, cutthroats have more than enough implements of murder. So we managed to get that gem, and that's fine. Okay, we've got a fight. I mean, not so bad if we can get a health potion out of it, but we're scuppered, really. I'm glad we've got those two gems out of it. We might end up redoing this mission, but that's fine. We can get rid of two that I've really been wanting to get rid of for a while. How did you know At least we've got a shield. Not to be yeah, tell them, Mike. That was a hit. Oh, he's got me with it. I could be dead here. Yeah, I'm dead. Cut it. Cut it. Killed by a bayonet. Yeah, well. It was that early fight cost us, and then the, the food just not having enough. Bit of an issue. <laughs> Fallen once so, more. We know, what, we know the recruiting. We get a bit of gold. We're welcomed in. We're ready to go. They wanted to give us some stuff. Giving us some cutthroat blades. Very nice. Okay, so entering the wilds. So we're still gonna go for the thieves first, I think. Dangerous wilds. So we haven't got any equipment to worry about yet. Never mind. Should be a fairly easy fight. Should be. Numero uno got rinsed. We've got an achievement there for it. Minced. Nothing 
yeah, the repost. Oh, okay. Angry. No, oh, maybe we can't repost them. Getting achievements all over the place. Maybe we can't repost Northerners because it's a heavy weapon with these. It makes sense. Okay, well resolved. Gain equipment. You lack prominence to use yeah, this ropes. weapon. We'll get it soon. Gain more fame. It's not a weapon, bro. But all right. Treacherous wilds. Juicy berries. Five HP. That's fine. We'll let that go. Dangerous wilds. That's fine. The sooner we can get the fame and get the pious robes on, the better, really. Because uh, charge smash isn't something you rack up that quickly. But we can get get a good way through it, I think, because we shoot. Okay, that's the shield gun. Good time being at least. Oh, it wasn't. It, it wouldn't let me do the specials. Because he was in, like, down position. Luckily, we're not cursed anymore for picking him up, so I'm not as well. Good damage. Do it anyway, just to. Uh, Get in the habit. Nice dodge. Nice. Nice uh, posture change there from our man after the fight. Lost me coaster. Show your worth through action. That I do. Yep, can equip it now. Very good. And another equipment. Uh, do you think these against poor the... souls okay, would have turned good. to a life of crime if they'd known a wizard sitting alone in a tower would go to the trouble of creating a ring solely to cause them pain? I wonder. Mm. Okay, so we've seen this before, but I will read it. The Market Bazaar is a hive of activity. Traders from across the land call out to passers-by to sell their wares. As the sun beats down on crowded streets, you pause briefly to draw water from a fountain. You feel something tug on the inside of your tunic. Turning quickly, you discover the pickpocket making off with some of your belongings. 20 gold. What a scumbag. I have no idea. Oh, yes! Beauty. The thief is nimble, but you manage to gain on them as they negotiate the crowd. With the thief almost at arm's reach, they knock over a barrel of apples in an attempt to hinder you. It's quite, quite games strict, this within game. Games within games. Uh, I bet I'm better rolling all three, aren't I? Because that's a, a five up if I don't. Scumbag. The apples roll across the ground in front of you, you lose your footing and land squarely on your back. Push yourself off and continue your journey. 20 gold! You scumbag! Them's a little stress. Yeah, let's go for it. It's a fight against thieves if not, so we'll take that. Okay, well. Well done. We'll accept her. You her continue to impress. Reward. Well, I got the gold back, at least. Ah, oh, the thieves have come to me. Very good. Thieves' erratic movements cross right into your path. You catch them frantically loading the relic onto horse and cart. Just hold him off for a couple of minutes while we ready the horses. All right. Well, we're not going to give you the chance. And a couple of minutes? I mean, you give me 45 seconds at best. It's hardly a couple of minutes, is it? But we want to get the uh, storm here where possible. Early there, but let me have the uh, second one. Uh, I've hurried way too early there. Come 
or two for a minute. We didn't get no finishers, but it'll do. We did it in the time. Not a great fight, but we'll accept it. So we've recovered the relic, and it's Turin's plate again. Heavy weapons still 20% less damage, that's fine. We're not going to be using heavy weapons. Tell the prayers, we will make a donation. We will take Gambler's Banquet. I've included some more dice games here anyway, so should be alright, or dice gambits rather, should I say. Wild berries, 10 life, okay, that's fine, we can look at that. We're running low on food now though. Fire building. is a symbol of so much purity, will, creative force and power. A moment of inattention and it becomes pure destruction. As you approach, you see a building, flames and smoke billowing from the upper windows. Crowd has formed outside, passing buckets of water between one another to temper the blaze. Brave the fire ourselves. So, uh, as you push your way through the crowd, you see a woman frantically pleading with the villagers. Please help! My family is in there! Anyone, please help! We will brave the fire. Here we see yet another wheel. Each different, yet each bearing their own similarities. So that's quite an easy one to start. Continue. Okay, so we're going to re-roll off Mali. That's quite nice. Let's see what Through you a haze of that. smoke, you find a woman's Doing youngest daughter position. crying under a bed. You coax her out, scoop her up, and carry her out to her. The villager rushes to your aid. Thank, thank you, brave adventurer. I can take it from here. But be warned, the building is not safe. It will soon collapse. The woman embraces her child, then turns to you once more. My husband! Did you see my husband? He's still in there. Please, please help. Return to the building. There we go, we've got Thusband. You find the woman's son attempting to find his way out through the smoke and flames, grabbing his hand, you're leading back to the building from the building to safety. A villager rushes to your aid. Thank you, brave adventurer. I can take it from here. Oh yeah, yeah, no, just claim claim my, you know, saved child over here. But be warned, the building is not safe, it will soon collapse. The woman embraces her child, then turns to you once more. My husband, did you see my husband? Well, I've got your son and your daughter, love, so I mean, make you... Nah, that's not good enough. We will redraw. Oh, just, just tipped over onto it. Slumped in the corner of a room, you find the woman's husband. He put his arm, he put his arm over your shoulder and quickly make your way out of the inferno. As you emerge, the woman and her children rush to the man's side and embrace him. Thank you, adventurer. You have saved my family from certain death. The woman says. And of course, we get the uh, the token there for that. Well done, me. While our possessions have been destroyed and we will never be able to repay you, I know that we will speak of your deeds here today for as long as we shall live. Well, I mean, a bit of food wouldn't have gone amiss, but alright. I'll have to do. So let's trade. Let's buy food. Always buy the three first. Better value. And then we'll buy the single. That'll have to do. We'll finish trading. And we'll break camp. Children are once. always okay, the ones so this is to suffer most. They have an excess of capacity for it. You linger near a fort in the abandoned docks of the great city. There is nothing of interest to do here. Oh, great. Good stuff. The wilds are home to many a rebel, criminal and beast. Light weapons are weak against the Empire. Alright. Not really, though. Considering my heavy weapons deal 20% less damage, I'd imagine that they're weaker. Stabbed in the kidneys. 
Never mind though, we're okay. Oh, that one, is that one the curses we have? With the battle resolved, you scavenge what you can from the remains. One from two, okay. Well, we'll take the sapper's bolt, let's see. Explosive bolt, uh, aim a bolt, sticks to the first enemy. Bolt detonates after a short delay, causing 40 damage in an area. Once charges are used, it'll be replaced with a standard crossbow. Powerful artifact. Defeat 10 enemies with this item. Such a sudden spread of firepower. One has to wonder what mind is at work. Mm, true. The wilds are some, sometimes treacherous and harmful. You see better this. Oh, max life, you scumbag. Okay, we we'll just leave. We haven't we haven't got the money. It's irrelevant. It's fine when we have, but Treacherous Wilds. Lose the footing. And we we'll lose three food. Well we didn't Your have any food. Are so... exhausted. Unless you find some food, you will surely perish. No man. With little warning, a stampede of gnomes burst from the tree line, trampling your camp and ruining a perfectly adequate stew. I didn't have any food, so where that came from, I don't know. The tiny creatures clamber into the bushes behind you and peer out from the foliage with great anticipation. You turn to see what had frightened them. A larger than average goblin steps into the clearing, crude sword in one hand and an empty sack in the other. Did some gnomes just come through here? The goblin's uh, chins jiggle with anger at your hesitation. We will not eat them, only throw them. They'll stand our ground. You reach for your weapon, no good can come from letting this goblin have his way with the gnomes. Hunter of mischief. And a four of mischief. You wish to be thrown too? The large goblin glares at you as his friends emerge from the forest to assist. Okay. Well, hopefully he's got some food in that sack and we can partake of that once we have put him down. I assume I'm supposed to help the gnomes rather than the goblins. That would make more sense, but... Perhaps not. Oh, he's giving me the old up oh, yours. Let's see. They pour from their undercities, a tide of mischief and terror. Tricky and unpredictable fighters. Goblins are vulnerable to repost. Attack them before they finish drinking or deal with the consequences. Okay. I hope this works. So we can drink the, the extra uh, scumbaggery, can we? Oh, right. They turn into a fanatic. I'm hoping to get one killed with it, but I don't know if it will. They seem a little short. Yeah, it's not a kill. Nice. Okay, this is getting silly now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, mate. Oh, I've got to wait for it to recharge here. That's a kill. I'm going to get kills with the bow while I can. So, I don't think I've, I, I think I've wasted ammo, so I'm not going to be able to get it will not this time, so we'll have to take it next time. With the goblins defeated, the gnomes emerge from the bushes. Again, you come to our aid, human. Perhaps we were wrong about your kind. One of the creatures drags, uh, sorry, one of the creatures darts into the darkness and returns, dragging a pair of rune etched daggers behind them. We forged these great swords to wield against our terrible foe. Or perhaps they'd serve you better. The gnome coughs and looks at his feet. 
Also, none of us are strong enough to lift them. It is the nature of things. Goblin griefers. One rises in strength, and so the weapons so, that defeat uh, them are forged anew. Ah, right, so, okay, so our current cutthroat made stun thieves, whereas these are better versus goblins. Use defend to reflect arrows from ranged goblins. Reflecting projectiles cost 24 now. Um, I don't think... Uh, oh, okay. Um, and we need to reflect. Yeah, I, I don't think we're gonna... I don't think we're gonna take those for now, but that's fine. Nicely done. Like, I, I don't see us fighting a lot more goblins here, so... Shifty salesman. Threaten to take it by force. Despite your threat of violence, the merchant seems nonchalant. He smiles and says, One does not operate this far from civilization without insurance. He lets out a piercing whale. Three of greed. Oh, right, they've got an assassin of greed. Ready yourself for combat. Well, this is a relatively tough buy, um, depending on how strong the assassin is. But we've got the right weapons for the job. Well, the billy clubs would be better, but these will suffice. So, we shall just take it as it comes. Knife in the darkness, the assassin waits. Assassins perform quick, heavy attacks. Use evade or, or you perish. Don't let them hit me! I'm too handsome for Should have heard that. Wizard skills the Malaclips. Look at him. What is the best way to go about this then? Is he going to do a normal attack here and there? Nice. If I can quickly get this on him before Mali goes mental. Nice. I think we got the kill there. I don't think Mali stole it. I want to check my equipment there and see how many kills I've got. I think we should be up to five or six. If you give away everything that is critical, uh, you cannot okay. hope to win. After you are your own worst enemy here. Or are you merely testing me? Right. You know I mean, G giving me some right jip there, mate. So we have, of course, already done this. Uh, previously, I just bought it from him. I had the gold. Obviously, we haven't got the gold this time. After dispatching his bodyguard, you turn around, uh, turn towards the shifty salesman. Someone in the Empire really must want this back, he says, while gently rolling the relic in his hands. I imagine I could make someone very unhappy just by doing this. He throws it and crushes it. While I prefer to profit from this encounter, I'm willing to settle for petty revenge. So we uh, evidently can't take it by force. Andrus Wilds, okay. Yeah, I wasn't aware that that was going to result in that. I thought we might be able to take it in by force, but... Never mind. I forgot to check how... Uh, in fact, no, we don't want to do that yet. Right, don't kill him, Mally, he's mine. Ah, oh, I didn't just kill him there. Oh, what? What was that dodge? Stab him right in the tuckus. Very good. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll check it now. Yeah, in fact, don't mind. We'll just check it at the beginning of the next one. We're not going to. Uh, we're not going to max it out this time anyway. Okay, get five max life. Okay, we're all right. Real five encounters. So we've got the old maiden there, which is pretty good. Fifteen golds, but well, better late than never, I suppose. Open wilds. It's all nice. Twenty life. Very good. So we're losing I one have max met HP as we go. Gods and death himself. I have no more respect for them now than when I believed them myths. Your quest brings you to a remote shrine high in the mountains. It is revered among the few local peasants for its remarkable healing properties. You kneel before the shrine and beseech the gods to take pity on you. Well, we'll roll. We've got the gambler's banquet, so we're getting a bit of food. And we've passed. So we will get Matt's life. Matt's life. Very good. And we will speak to the old maiden for supplies. Temple relic. The village of Durnich is unremarkable, save for a tiny, near forgotten shrine. Here you find another relic resting on a dusty altar. An old woman greets you. I see you're interested in our relic. Local legends tell of a time when a great hero will come to claim it. Until then, it remains here, under our watch. I'll claim to be the hero. The woman examines you for a moment before falling to our knee her knees in prayer. You have arrived, just as foretold, our saviour. Drag trick. And we get, um, takes 30% of any resource that you learn while, while they're active. Uh, very good. Major's Tower. Your eyes drawn to a similar glow emanating in response from a distant tower. Do you think they're trying to tell us something? Malaclip smirks. Let's get moving. So we're going to go back the way we came, just so it doesn't cost us any resources. You find yourself pitched against mages, and I cannot help but wish them success. All right, scumbag. I thought we were bros, but if you're going to be like that, I hope your grot gets worse. The relic leads you to a mysterious tower. You will need to ascend it to reach the major its summit. We will enter the tower. Okay, Payne. Oof. Uh, yeah, we'll redraw that. That's better. She climbed the tower, her voice calls down from above. Do you even know why you're here? How much did they tell you when they ordered you to go out into the wilds? When they sent you out here like a dog after a bone? You continue to wind up the tower. Wind your way up the tower. Getting better there, though. Even if you split the difference, I was still all right. You finally reached the top of the tower. A wise decision. I didn't decide. Well, I suppose I decided to press the button then. You've been sent here to do the bidding of the true enemy. These relics can be used to defeat him. Here you are, looking to return them to him. So you seek the final relic, the mage says. She looks you up and down. You are a clumsy, or are you clumsy or foolhardy? I cannot tell. You've come this far, but you failed to bring the relics intact. And yet you continue your errand. She holds out her hand. I guess you've come for this. Take it. She says calmly, but be warned, its curse will sap your strength and your will to fight. The com and combat is inevitable, I'm afraid. Or, she continues, you can let me keep it. But, should you best me, it will be lost to you forevermore. I will take the relic. Ragnar's curse blade. Okay. Lose two fame each time you start off. Well, that's not a terrible curse to have right now. You struggle to lift your weapon as a group of fields jo a three group of thieves join the fray. Well, 
Don't worry, me and Mal are gonna put a stop to her. <laughs> her feet first, I think. All right, yeah, yeah, we'll do that last. Oh, I've got a press parry. And again. Looks a bit like ground AOEs. Permanently. I don't know how much HP they have at max, so we're just going to... Oh yeah, that's enough. We'll definitely be able to kill him with it, so we'll accept that as enough. Good stuff. Oh, he kicked me into the stun. Okay, that wasn't very good. Should have dodged that. Should have parried that also. Oh, it's alright. We're on the mage now. It's only really a matter of time. Oh, that's cheap. You've got a, you've got a stun on you. Big stabbings right in the guts. Blocked her over. Spells will do you no good here now, mage. Been absolutely cronked. You've done them, mage's tower. Though you have failed to recover all the relics, you were able to keep them out of the hands of the thieves. You journey back to the Imperial City to deliver your report. Captain Estrella meets you out, uh, at the city gates. I'll take you straight to the Chief Council. She'll be eager to examine what you've brought back. On your walk to the palace, you explain that while you don't manage to secure all the relics, or while you didn't manage to secure all the relics, you assure her that they are all destroyed or lost. Save your excuses for the Council. You were sent to bring them all back. The chief council uh, takes your news like bitter medicine. Well, I guess this is what happens when we send mercenaries and yokels to do a proper job. Be gone now before I question your loyalties. And we've, uh, we've unlocked a couple of tokens, so that's better than nothing. What, bitter winter for a, for a shard. And we've got the Goblin Griefers. Okay, so like, yeah, he gave them to us mid-mission, but they're now an equipment we can take. Fair enough. So the next one is the Hierophant, and that one was, I must say, an absolute nightmare. Uh, obviously, I didn't just play through these, I, uh, I recorded them, uh, and then had to delete the footage. But uh, this one I played, I think I had like three episodes of this, so... Obviously, it's only going to be one, now I know what I'm doing, or it should only be one, now I know what I'm doing. Uh, and then we're on to the new stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time in the Underhive.